Alright guys, we're doing another Back to Basics video today and just after a recent fishing trip and some bad weather in KZN um, I stood on the beach and watched an angler fishing and there was a strong sidewash and he casted his bait out and it lasted one minute and he sinker trip and he kept on washing up because of the strong sidewash but the sidewash wasn't that strong that he couldn't catch a fish and if he set his sinker correctly um, he would have held longer and he would have, probably would have had a bite and catch a fish but just by not knowing how to set his sinker he kept on tripping too fast and he never stayed in the zone so he, he cast his sinker out and it washed out and side wash took it and he never had a chance of catching a fish so I thought maybe I should just go through another little back to basics uh, video and this video is more for extreme circumstances um, previous years when we did a lot of sliding I used to set my sliding sinkers like this um, but every now and then when we're fishing and the water is extremely strong and you're really batting to hold the sinker I still set my sinkers like this and just by the way you bend the wires it really makes that sinker sit so much better and hold in a very very strong seat so it's not the type of way you're going to bend your sinker every day when you fish your grapnel sinker it's for extreme conditions rough weather conditions or when there's a side wash and you're really batting to hold so, but I thought let me just show this again um, because we still slide a lot when we fish um, live bait and I, and I use that the method it still works for me today and maybe there's some guys out there that weren't around those sliding days and did a lot of sliding and, and fresh to fishing and they're batting to set the grapnel so it holds so I'm going to show you guys how to do it and maybe that will help you so this is a standard sinker this is just a seven ounce I grab eight ounce actually and the way the wires are bent normally is it's just bent at a bit of an angle on either side and then it flips onto the slide onto the sinker like that and as you know the purpose of this is it goes into the sand and your lines attach there and it holds your bait uh, in one place so the problem with this is if there's a strong strong wash the, this doesn't hold very well it holds up to a point and then it trips and your sinker starts moving and the next one will trip and you wash out and you lose control of your bait you're not in the zone anymore and 9 out of 10 times you just wash out on the beach and your chance of catching fish is slim so it doesn't matter how tight you push these wires they will still come out quite easily they're designed to trip at a certain um, sort of amount of pressure put on them and it doesn't really hold that well so we've developed this way of, of changing our wires or the way we bend the wires to make it hold much better so what I've got here I've got a 7 ounce which I've taken that wire out and I personally just get myself a bit of wire what I normally use is just 1.6 mil stainless steel spring steel but you can really just go get any sort of strong type of wire um, 2 mil or anything of that sort and then bend your own so I like the 1.6 mil stainless steel spring steel it works for me I don't have to go any heavier because the way I bend it really hard. So let me sh show you guys how I do it and then you can try it at home and see if you need it right. So there's a few tricks to it, it's really not complicated. But the first thing I do is I sort of sink, put my wire through the sinker, center it, and then the first bend I'm going to make, I just put it two mils back. So the one I'm going to bend first, the side I'm going to bend first, I'll make a little bit longer than the other side. And you will understand now why I do it because I'm stealing with a wire when I bend it. So I'm turn around so you can see. I take the front end of my long nose pliers, take my thumb, and I push the wire across. So I'm giving it a very, very sharp bend. I push it to the maximum as far as I can. I put it back like that, so there's our bend. Now I'm going to do the other side. And this is the key to the way we bend this wire. You need to give it that 2 to 3 mil gap. So that's why I put the, the long nose pliers there. I hold it tight and I bend it over the same way. You know what I mean by the gap? You can see the wire is not against the sinker, I've got a little bit of a gap there. And just by doing that alone, I'm going to strengthen the wire onto the sinker. So the next step is to take this wire where I've bent it across, bend it 
back to the very sharp angle again. Okay, the other side, the exact case that. Let's skew, I'm just going to straighten it in the up. So what we're aiming for is, is this. You've got a, a very sharp bend that there with that two or three more gap and a few very sharp edges there. Um, this little section here is about one centimeter or 1.2, 1.3 centimeters. There's no exact science to it. Just so it fits into the groove of the center. Um, the key to what makes this very strong are these angles. That very sharp point there in that sharp angle. And you'll see now when I clip it in, you can hear it clipping in and out holes. So it clips into those grooves of the sinker nice and deep. And I just set the wires nice and straight. And that's it. So there's our gap we spoke about. The sharp little points are like pushed into the sinker there, into the little gap. And this really holds the sinker. So you can see how hard I've got to pull to trip it. And then it trips only. So you can take a very strong C to trip the sinker. And if you've done both sides, it makes the sinker, I think, three or four times stronger than your standard grapnel wire, the way it's bent. And the thicker you go on your wire, the harder you go on your wire, the more this will hold. So, as I say, it's also a bit of a trick to bending it, um, but after a few, you'll get that little bend 100%. And that really, really helps you to hold the sink in a very rest. So guys, I hope you could see what I did on the video here. Um, and just another little tip. So after I've fished with this sinker and I've reeled in that strip, I always just re-bend the wires for the next cast. Take my fingers, push it back in like that. It's nice and sharp again. And then it clips back in and it's solid again. All right, so we've done the one wire. Um, I'll probably can do the other wire for you guys, and you can see what the end result looks like. So, push the wire through, get it to the center, and then the first side I'm going to bend to make it a little bit longer. I'm going to bend the left hand side, so I've added a few or three more to compensate for the tip of the pliers. Grab it with the pliers and bend it across. Give it that nice sharp bend. Turn around. It's exactly the same on the other side. Take my thumb. Give it a nice sharp bend. Okay. So there's a little gap which is very important. And then with normally where it crosses, I like to be in the back. So just put the pliers in. Place the wet crossing there. Grab it nice and tight. And then a sharp bend. And then the same for the other side. Straighten up everything a little bit. And that's what you want. A nice solid bend. And you'll hear it clip in when I push it over. So like when I'm done bending my wires, make sure they they all sort of equal. So you get you work like an anchor, so you want it to be perfectly perfectly symmetric. Um, so you guys can see what I mean. Like it, the distance between the wires should be similar. You don't want one wire sitting way or sinked or something like that, because then it'll just affect the the sink and how it works. So. Bend it so it's relatively symmetrical and the distance between the tip of the side. Okay, so that is it. So just to compare the two sinkers, you'll see what I've done different. It's all about those angles and the gap at the top. So there's a standard one which you can use under no normal circumstances when the sea's not strong and you want it to trip easily. And this is our modified one which is solid and dulled in a very, very strong sea. Alright, so just another little trick that I can show you guys. Um, this is under extreme, extreme conditions when you really 
putting a big bait out there with a slide bait and even this doesn't work there's another way to strengthen this a little bit um, but it'll still trip if you need it to trip under huge pressure and what I do is I take a bit of ghost cotton and I just wind a bit of ghost cotton over the wire so I'll grab the end of the ghost cotton here and I'll just sort of wind the ghost cotton not too many times you want it to trip so five or six times like that and I just finish it off with a little half inch knot So by adding that ghost cotton over the sinker wire like that, you're making it way, way stronger and way more difficult to trip. But if you pull it hard enough, basically when you straight stick the, the sinker to, to break it off or make it trip, or if you want a real end, it's still true. enough out there for it to trip and break off. So that's just a little tip. If it's really, really difficult, but you want your sinker to hold, just add a little bit of ghost cotton on there as well. Um, to make it strong. Alright guys, so that's my little tip for the day, how to strengthen your grapple thinker. I hope it helps you guys.